On top of the two data structures that I mentioned, the three-plan algorithm that we're looking at also uses a very interesting and crucial geometric observation, and that's the following. That the top event point is the next highest event point among these three types of event points. So let me explain what this means. So imagine that you have the sweep line over here, right? You have identified a number of event points, right? So that was the start, the end, and the intersection points, okay? So and obviously the next event point is the highest event point among all these three types of event points that you have. What this lemma says is that you only need to check the intersection points of the two adjacent line segments. In other words, if this is your sweep line, right, and you have these, oops, and let's say these are all the intersection points that exist in, in, the, in the picture. So these are all the intersection points. And let's say, and you have some other event points that are end segments. So these are, let's say, end points, and these are the intersection points. Okay. If the next event point is an intersection point, such as this one, then it must be the intersection point of two adjacent line segments. And what adjacent means is adjacent on the sweep line. So in other words, when I look at the current order on the sweep line, there is no other segment between them intersecting sweep line. Right? So that's, that's what it means. If the next event point is an intersection event is an intersection event point, then it must be the event point formed by intersection of two adjacent line segments. This is what the lemma says. The first two is kind of obvious, right? If the highest intersection point is the, the top end point of a segment, then it's obvious that's the next event point. And in particular, what this observation implies is that to find intersection points, we only need to check adjacent line segments only. Okay. This is gonna come in handy later on. Because as we have seen, as we will see shortly, at the beginning of this algorithm, we don't know any intersection points. We only know about the input, which means we only know about the top end points of the line segments and the bottom end points of the line segments. So we need to find intersection points one at a time. Okay, I'm going to look at the details of the algorithm later on.